Uh, it's different. The things that, that are different is uh, in the Yukon, in, in the Klondike Gold region, you have permafrost. That was the hardest thing for me. That was the biggest difference in, in learning and teaching myself how to move that permafrost to get down to the gold and the gold-bearing material. And then I also found that and discovered and learned that the gold is all at the bottom. I mean, and it was a painful process learning those things about moving dirt and moving, moving rock. The screening, the conveyors, the washing is pretty much elementary for anybody that's in the rock business. I knew how to move rock and get it from one place to another. I did not know the sluice box, and that's where Freddie Dodge came in. He's an expert at sluice boxes. Um, and so through that process, I learned a lot about sluice boxes because he's the best in the, I believe, the best in the world at fine gold recovery. And so I learned a lot about the sluice box. So thankfully, I knew, you know, the screens and the washing and the conveyors and feeders and stuff like that. I learned how to move permafrost and move that dirt, which was the difficult part because in Oregon, we're just moving rock. You know, there's no frozen ground. We drill and shoot and blast. And in the Klondike, we move it with um, trucks and excavators and dozers. So it's similar but different. Up there in the Klondike, I had different tools. Um, we used trucks and excavators, off-road dump trucks and excavators, a lot more because it was bigger, open ground. And I found that that's a really effective way to move dirt and overburden. At our rock pit, we're on a smaller footprint. We don't have as much room. So we used a lot more dozers. And what I discovered was that moving dirt with trucks and excavators is pretty cheap compared to the undercarriage on a dozer. So that's something I learned. I've got a 6x16 JCI incline screen. I've got two LJs. Louis Johnson was the original guy. He started LJ, and then he also designed the JCI line, which was then bought out by Colbert Pioneer. And you know that history. So I've got two LJ screens. I've got a JCI screen. I've got an LJ cone. So yeah, there's four pieces in there that, that were originally designed by Louis Johnson. It would be a sellable product if we had a market. We are, oh, we're about 60 miles from the nearest town. And that 60 miles takes, you know, about an hour and a half to get there. And that town is Dawson City. And in Dawson City, there's so much rock, you know, within 10 minutes of that town that it, there's absolutely no value in that rock that we clean and separate. It's beautiful river rock. If I had that in Portland, I'd make a lot of money, but there's no market for it.